Hi guys, welcome back. This is By The Book and we are your married relationship coaches. Today we've been talking about Married at First Sight season 14, episode maybe 13, maybe 14, still not <laughs> sure. <laughs> and we are finally talking about... We are talking about the... The meat and potatoes couple for for uh, for this week. We talking about Mark the Shark and Lindsay. That's who we talking about. And uh, they had a roller coaster week uh, or, or, or episode, just like they've been having a roller coaster relationship ever since they said I do. And so uh, tonight was no different. You know, they had a lot of ups and downs, and 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 so the, as soon as the episode starts, guess what? Lindsay is doing her uh, self video and basically saying that she is so upset with Mark and he's out and there's probably no way he can ever get back in. So she throws up these whole big things uh, of, 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 of hurdles that he can never overcome. And so it's just like, uh, is he in? Is he out? Is he coming back? No, I, who knows? And so yeah. What's your thoughts? <laughs> I don't even know what that one was, was about. Yeah. See, I think they probably said it or led into it. Um, but I don't remember because there's so much. There's literally so much problem issues that they, you know, come up with each and every episode. I, I just can't keep up. So she was. She was talking into the camera, saying she was upset. Um, they went uh, shopping together. With a budget. She blew the budget, mm -hmm. which... I didn't have that big of an issue with because I don't like budgeting for groceries. So I felt there on that one. <laughs> and he's not working. So they must, she must be paying for it. So if she's paying for it and she wanted her fresh uh, organic vegetables, then why can't she have them? But they agreed to a budget though. It changed. They got to the store and inflation. Huh? Inflation. The vegetables was expensive, like gas. But they didn't have to buy all the vegetables. <laughs> she wanted vegetables. They were trying to meal prep. They had a whole conversation. He had his whiteboard, and he was talking about meal prepping something. She was like, let's just do the whole thing. We'll meal prep everything. Then they went grocery shopping. They had a tiny budget. To be fair, how long were they supposed to go with $150? And they're trying to meal prep for two people for the week. It was an unreasonable budget, I think. Okay. Unless they were going to have, you know, like Hamburger Helper all week. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know <laughs> but, you know, I, I think, um, you know, having a budget is good. I know my wife, you know, she doesn't want to have a budget a lot of th a lot of times. You know, she wants, she, you know, she's the free spirit. And so that's fine. You know, but... Um, but I'm responsible. Okay. Yeah, but you can tell Mark wasn't feeling that at the grocery store. He wasn't. He kind of, yeah, he was a little huff and puffy. And then um, he didn't want to eat, really. Like, they prepared a meal. I think Lindsay... Did she prepare both meals or did they buy it out? I, I'm not really sure where Dude, these meals came from. But I would hope after grocery shopping like that, that they prepared the meals at home. Uh -huh. And uh, she was asking him to taste her food and he refused yeah you know and I, I just feel like it was a vibe there that she just really didn't enjoy and I, and I actually that's the one thing I will fault Mark for because he could have just tasted food eat the cake anime he could have <laughs> but you know what when you're not feeling somebody and you constantly feeling them pushing you pushing you pushing you you're just going to keep drawing back and drawing back and drawing yeah, back. And that's, and that's what he's doing. You know, he's in retreat and she's kind of chasing him a little bit, you know, trying to get something out of him. But he's he says that he he feels something for her. How in the world? That, I have no idea how he is. Uh, baby, how is he fit having any type of. You know, romantic feelings or anything for he her. He didn't say I, I he don't... felt romantic feelings for her, for her. He said, I really like this girl. Yeah. That's very ambiguous to me. Mm -hmm. And I think that he says ambiguous things on purpose because it's less likely to spark an argument. And he's very non-confrontational. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to fight with her. Yeah. So last week we talked a little bit about the clip with the cats and the shark suits and stuff like that. Yeah. 
And <laughs> I'm slow because I didn't realize until after we got done filming that those cats were in shark suits for Mark the Shark. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so laugh at me if you must. But I didn't get it. I just thought it was stupid. And I still think it's stupid, but I get it. It's just corny and stupid now as opposed to ridiculous and stupid. <laughs> so... Um, that photo shoot went just like we saw and, and previewed in the uh, last episode, but I don't see how they keep going back and forth and even continue on the show. Like, what do you think? What is their path? I don't know. I mean, he even said, he, he asked the question himself, will things ever smooth out? And the answer to that, absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, this is as good as it's going to get right about now. Unless both of them, but especially Lizzie, get into some serious therapy. Yeah, she's not. She's she's not going to take therapy because she doesn't think there's something wrong with her. And she has this very interesting ability. It's almost a talent, actually. <laughs> I'm going to coin a new phrase. I feel like every time they have an issue, Lindsay does what I'm going to call is to eclipse him, right? Like he has an issue with her and then she jumps up and covers <laughs> up what's going on with him and cries or pouts, has a temper tantrum and takes away from his moment. He can't even share mm. like any kind of feedback for her at all if it's negative. He can't say anything without her being like, but you're not being accountable. When in actuality, she's not being accountable. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just hard to watch that time and again. It's like a pattern of behavior with her where she must jump in front of this issue mm -hmm. and say, my issue is more important. It needs to be addressed right now. You're falling short. You're doing this. You're messing up. You're crossing boundaries. All of these things. By the way, the boundary, the only boundary that I think was crossed was that he dried her clothes mm. that maybe shouldn't have been dried. I don't know what he must have dried. She said he ruined three items of clothes that were worth $250. Yeah. And I'm like, what clothes do you have that are worth that much? Because it's not your bras. <laughs> and cause I, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I hate her bras. I hate them. <laughs> Hey. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could see us <laughs> while we're watching the show because that's anyway. Oh um, <laughs> back to um to, to Mark and Lizzie. Oh, um, you know what? One of the things that I, I kind of like clued in on is when she said um that the cats get more attention than uh -huh. what she does. And the and the other thing that she said was he's able to pour into everybody else. In everything else except for her in the marriage. Yeah. And so what that was saying to me was, is that she wants him to uh, uh, basically let him, let her know in however he does it, you know, but let her know in the language that she can, she can receive mm -hmm. it, that he is in love with her, that he's dedicated with her, dedicated to her, and that he is not only loving her, but accepting her for any and everything that she says and that she does. No matter, you know, just how ridiculous she can act, no matter how disrespectful she can be, he, uh, she wants him to accept her no matter what, you know. And so um, he's obviously, he doesn't like the confrontation. He doesn't want to get into the, the back and forth with her. Mm -hmm. And so... He shuts off. He didn't even want to hold her hand when she when 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 she grabbed at him. But you wouldn't either if I was slurring drunk, talking about let me talk to you. Let me. Talk. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Yeah. Like by that, and that was the same time when he didn't want to even taste the food. I think that she had made. Was that the same time? No, that was no. Just oh, time. okay. Because I was gonna say he was already <laughs> off put by that. Yeah. So, no, but I mean, I think in a lot of times, even when she said, do you pour into everything else? She was slurring drunk then. She's just always like drunk. And I think that's another thing that's very off-putting to him. I give, you, I give you that. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's hard to look at her mm -hmm. like that. It's like, oh, she's about to start Lindsay in. <laughs> like, <laughs> when she's drunk. Um, yeah, I, it's, 
mm -mm. it's hard to watch them overall at this point and i feel like they're just hanging in there for production's sake i think um mark yeah i think he's just basically trying to get through the eight weeks I don't know what type of agreement that they signed. They can maybe yeah. sue him if he maybe jumps out. Yeah, they I don't signed know it in blood because I feel yeah. like he would be on the fast track out just yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That, that's, that's just, it's just a bad match. Uh, she she needs a lot of counseling. She, she does. And that's the thing with her. Like her, We talked about this a little bit before. She needs so much affirmation mm -hmm. that is literally exhausting to probably everyone in her life, not just a lover, but, you know, friends and family. She has to have, she kind of makes herself the center of attention yeah. and she has to be beloved. She needs that devotion. All. She needs mm -hmm. that devotion. 100%. And she can't be checked. She can't be corrected. Mm -hmm. She can't be wrong. She's going to pull out all the stops, at least what she feels like, looks like her pulling out all the stops yeah. for her loved ones. But in return, she needs unwavering support yeah. it, did, and did you notice you know when she left do you do you want me to stay oh she did, needed did, did it so bad that? and i wish I, I just wish i could hold up a mirror to her face and say do you know how pathetic you sound right mm -hmm. now and he gave it to her and that also pissed me yeah, off yeah well at first he says you know do you want to stay you know only if you want to. That's and what she's he like, but well, it's a different thing if you want me to do it. Yeah. As opposed to her, you know, saying she wants to say. And she said as much in the interview. She's yeah. like, I want to do the shoot, but I kind of just want to know that he wants me there. Yeah. And so it's, she's not hiding it at all. Mm -hmm. I think she's just fully not aware of how pathetic that sounds. Yes. And how much of a drain that can be on another human being to always have to validate you. Yeah. So before we wrap this up, my question is issues with Mark and Lindsay this week, issues with Elijah Wan and Katina last week. Where the heck are the experts? How, <laughs> where, 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 where are you? It just seems like they drop these people off in a meat grinder, turn it on and leave out. And then when they come back finally at the end of eight weeks, you know, Everybody's all mangled and torn up. Yeah, and what they definitely you? have less involvement, I think, in this season than many others. But they're supposed to make an appearance next week, like a surprise oh, pop yeah. in on them while they're talking. You know, the other couples are talking trash about them and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see. But I think at this point, it's just they're there for show. I think we've gotten to a place 14 seasons in to marry their first sight where production just wants to make good TV mm, and let the chips fall where they may when it totally. comes to these couples because they don't, they're not interested in, in the relationships being fixed. What we keep watching for, what we keep doing shows about is the drama and the things that aren't going well. Yeah. You see, we don't spend a lot of time talking about people that are succeeding. No. So, you know, they know what sales and... That's what they're going to keep on doing. That's but you know what? I, I have to say this, though. If they had couples on there that were succeeding, we could have more to talk about at the at what they were doing to help them succeed. And then, you know, a lot of couples can maybe, like, look at them and be like, okay, we need to incorporate what they're doing into our relationship. And then maybe our relationship could be a little less bumpy or whatever. Don't nobody want to see that, Craig? <laughs> Always the positive optimist. Nobody wants to see that. People don't. They, you know, when you were in high school, people didn't form circles around folks that was having normal conversations. They formed circles around fights. We want to see it blood. Yeah, but what That's you it. hey, but what you want and what you need are two totally different things. And we, we Yeah. yeah so. But we're not gonna see it, especially this far into it. It's a successful show for a reason, and that's because it's drama field. That is so. With that said, guys, let us know what you think about Mark and Lindsay. If they can make it, I am so team no. It's not even funny. It's over. <laughs> over before we begin. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here for tonight, and we'll see you soon. Bye.